all right y'all what's going on it's combo breaker 99 i'm back with another video okay so the aggressive tweets they continue they continued on for the past three days from jessica andrade to the newly crowned champion carla sparza she's been going at it boy she's been going at it against carla sparza aka the boredom champion you know she's just been calling her out calling her out saying look you're the boredom champion any of us would have put on a better fight i mean she's already hit her up like with four or five tweets you know i got them right here i just kind of want to go over them real quick with y'all and just i uh, kind of give you my thoughts but um this thing's kind of got me laughing for two reasons like both sides of my my way of thinking for one i'm laughing because i'm i am hyped about this situation you know i'm kind of the one taking the back seat here you know my popcorn like people do when two people are aggressively uh going at each other one person just keeps egging another person on right i'm just kind of sitting back watching laughing like hoping something hoping, hoping something comes of this right hoping the fight does come out of this drama right here you know and then the other side of me i'm just kind of laughing at just gone dry because i'm like she's doing a lot here like she's doing too much here like all of a sudden whenever carla gets this belt it just seems like everybody's like growing more than a pair it's like they're growing six pairs down there you know what i mean like they're really growing like a pair to really go at her like they really see her as this boring champion and like easy pickings type of fighter right you know so um you know, Jessica Andrade, like, even before, I mean, Jessica Andrade, of course, she'll fight anybody. But for some reason, everybody's just kind of, like, showing call the disrespect here. So I just kind of laugh at her, like, you know, because she's just doing a lot. She's doing doing too much here. You know, I mean, eventually she'll get a title shot, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But she's really talking like she's never got a title shot before, like, Carla didn't earn this thing. You know what I mean? And the other thing is, I feel like Jessica Andrade, even, like, Joanna and everybody, they're just kind of, like, ignoring the fact that Carla Esparza had a dance partner in there. And like I keep saying, it takes two to tango, right? And for Jessica Andrade to just keep pointing the blame, pointing the finger and blaming Carla Spars, I think is crazy because she needs to look at Rose Namajunas as well, right? I mean, Jessica Andrade, of course, she can go on record and say, hey, look, Rose Namajunas fought her, fought her heart out against me. You know what I mean? She can say the pairing between them two times has been great. It's made for two good fights. Hell, I want to see a third fight between Rose and Andrade at some point. You know what I mean? But... She should know that styles make fights and it takes two to tango. And Carlos Barza wasn't just a full on fighter that contributed to a boring fight. It was Rose Namunas and her game plan. Right. And now if Rose put this same game plan on Andrade, you know, just playing keep away, it probably would have made for another boring fight until Andrade caught her. Right. But it still was partly Rose that made this fight ugly and boring right so it just seems crazy that she just keeps calling her calling her. i mean i know it's a championship thing i know she wants her but she needs to really also tell rose look you better than this you you should be able to do better than this you know y'all both made a boring fight but she just keeps on saying call her you know look she knows she won a title shot she'll get it but i just think it's kind of crazy she she keeps calling her out i mean look at this tweet here this is like four days ago she said look let's go call us you're gonna run away from me and you're gonna run away from me until you block me on t until I'm blocked on Twitter. Okay, so let me pull that up again. She said, "Let's go, Carla Sparza. You're gonna run away from me until until when? Will I, will I be blocked on Twitter?" And then y'all know the very first tweet, the one that really got it going. She said, "Look, I take advantage that you didn't block me on Twitter. I want to say that your fight yesterday was the worst in strawweight history. Champion of boredom. I can't wait till I rip your head off. Congratulations on the boredom belt. But fans, this sport." But fans of the sport want to see a massacre. I'll do. Right. And she also said any of the top five would have fought better than Carla Sparza did. The boredom champion. Shame on the division. Worst fight in the, the division's history. It was a disgrace to women's MMA arena booing the fight. Fans did not expect this. And what else did she say? Any of us would have put up a better fight when the champion of boredom did yesterday. Shame on the division. Worst fight in the division's history. Then she said this. This one here was kind of directed towards, I think, Marina Rodriguez. She said, the logic of the game is basic. I already fought all the best of the division and champions. Joanna Rose, Wei Lee, only Carla's missing. Now, the other girls still haven't fought with the former champions, Tops. Fight them first, then take your chance. I think we all know that's directed towards Marina Rodriguez right there. But um, Andrade, her translator, her manager, they, they putting in some work. They putting in some overtime on this one, I got to say, because they are really going to bat for her to get this title shot. So my thoughts on this whole thing, I think it makes good for entertainment. Definitely. It definitely does. But to me, at this point, Andrade, I think her pace is going to be the same. You know, she'll get the title shot when she gets it. I don't really think she's able to cut in line. Um, she might be able to cut in line in front of Marina at this point. She probably will. 
But off a of Lamos win, she even needs more one. She even needs one more win. She's already said that herself. But if she really wants to guarantee herself a title shot against this boredom champion, to me, she should be going after Joanna. You know, she should be calling Joanna out after Joanna fights Wei Li. You know, if Joanna wins, or she should be calling out that fighter again. You know what I mean? Because just a while ago, like I was saying, she said she wasn't ready for a title shot. But the minute that Carla got it, she feels the need to try to jump in there, you know, start licking the chops and saying, I need to get up here now. I need to get this boredom champion out. I would have put her in a better fight. I faced all the best. Marina, you step aside. So it's just a lot of things going on here in the strawweight division. But I think right now, Jessica Andrade, you know, if she really wants it, she needs to call out the the winner of this Joanna Wei Lee fight because Joanna seems like she's already guaranteed a title shot. If you look at her interview yesterday with uh, Ariel Hawani, Joanna already went in and said, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. She says clear, it's clear, it's clear. She said it multiple times, like Dana White already guaranteed her a title shot. So I think even Marina has to step aside or, you know, Andra needs to call out Marina now, you know, so I think that's the path that is going. Look, I want Marina to get the title shot, but it just seems like this is the path where it's going because Dana already said number one contender fight. Joanna already must have discussed it because she's already pretty much 100 percent reassured that this is going to be her fight. Right. So in the meantime, I think Andra needs to call that person out like Joanna saying, hey, you don't deserve a title shot. You've been gone for two years. Right. But I think she's just looking at performance here. And she really just kind of wants to troll Carla Sparza for that performance. But like I said, in my opinion, you need to call out Rose, too. You know, you need to call out Rose because she was just as much as party to, to, a, to the stinker of a fight than Carla was. Even more so, you know, even more so because in the past she showed this type of dominance. But with this game plan here, it was just ugly. And like I said before in my previous videos, Carla was just being Carla. And even then, you know, Carla, you know, she's had her road to the top five fight win streak you know she's had some good fights in, in here here and there you know and in rose you know she's had some good fights here and there but it's always been somebody having to push her you know andrade she can't fully say that rose is like 100 percent exciting like herself and Whaley and joanna these these other fighters have to push her because if you really go back the reason a lot of her fighting rose's fights are exciting is because everybody else pushes her so it's like andrade is actually carrying rose in some of these fights you know what i mean like andrade makes rose box the way she does you know agree or disagree i don't care i mean andrade is in the face of rose to make her pick her apart the way she did you know rose is um easy to crumble under pressure and that's why andrade was able to get her hands on her and slam her the way she did and make for an exciting fight rose was staying in the pocket that time Andrade landed that big right hand or big elbow, whatever you want to call it, to break her nose. You know what I mean? So if anything, Andrade should just be real and just say, look, both of y'all was boring. Both of y'all put on a boring fight. Worse than history. You know, put it on both of them, you know, because, again, Andrade, you carrying her. So I wonder what this energy is. You know, everybody act like Rose is somebody that's protected, but I'm just being real. You know, I'm just look, I'm a fight fan calling it down the middle. You know, even the fighters that could watch this video, say what they want, say, oh, you ain't in here. Well, it don't take a genius, you know, to call BS or just call favoritism. You know what I mean? Especially when this fighter here and Carl is working just as hard as Rose. You know what I mean? Like results is, may show in a different way. But to me, all of these fighters are working the same. So me from the outside looking in, I can call whenever somebody just playing favoritism. I mean, I know you went to title shot and you're going in. But at the same time, it's like you need to call it how it is. That's how I see it. That's just me, though. And that's how I do on this channel. Like if I just see y'all kind of like fronting on certain people and just saying, oh, yeah, Rose, she's protected. You know, she's been through this, been through that. Hell, I know a lot of boxers and people personally that's been through things she's been through. So to me, it's not about playing that game of, oh, she's protected. I can't say what's real. I mean, again, Rose is just as much party to it and even more than Carla Sparza when it comes to this boring fight and, and making one of the worst fights in history. Because in the past, like I said, Joanna made her, made, Joanna pushed the fight, made her work. So did Andrade and so did Wei Li. You know, all of those fighters, they had to push her to make her look that way. Takes two to tango. So for me, before I get out of here, um, yeah, like I said, I'm cool with the tweets as far as entertainment. But at the same time, I'm just like, listen to Andrade. I'm, I'm, I'm still looking over here like Andrade. Come on now, like you're over here 
also riding that Rose train, just acting like it wasn't her fault. And you're just trying to blame Carla. Look, I know you want that, that title shot, but you ain't going to get it. You ain't going to get it. This ain't going to get you the title shot. You need to call out, put some put some energy on Ioana or the Whaley, Whaley Ioana winner because that's the only way you'll get it because next in line is probably going to be Ioana. And hell, I'd even argue Marina get it before I drive at this point right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's my thoughts on that situation. I'm not talking about Andrade as a fighter. Number one, she's still exciting. Number one, she still fights everybody. But sometimes, you know, people just, you know, fighters, you know, they, their actions speak louder than their words and they're much more real with it when they fight, which is what I want to see these fighters do sometimes. Sometimes when they tweet and talk, just don't just don't make any sense. You know, that's how I see it. Combo Breaker 99. Let me know what y'all think, guys. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.